So, as the title suggests, can you beat Fall New Vegas as Paul Atreides? Yes, I have been watching a lot of Nurbert lately, and yes, I have been watching a lot of Fallout playthroughs because of the new TV show, and double yes, I have not finished the series yet. But, as I recently watched Dune Part 2 and I'm in a Dune phase right now, I figured, why not try it? See what happens. And besides, according to my knowledge, nobody else has done this before, so I figured, hey, I'm making it first as well. I'm only going to use melee weapons, and I'm going to do my best to look and act as well as Paul Atreides can be. What does that mean for my ending? Well, I thought a bit about this one, and figured Yes Men was the perfect ending. I mean, it's the closest I can get to some new empire or whatever, so... We're doing Yes Men today, ladies and gentlemen, which is also my first attempt at Yes Men, so sit back, relax, as I try my best not to screw up, which I already haven't because the playthrough would have been completed by this audio recording. Anyways, let's go. We begin by me not regretting buying all of the game and with its DLCs, because one of these DLCs automatically gives me the broad machete, which is the closest thing I could find to this thing. Uh... I'll, I'll, I'll probably put the name on it in editing at some point, but this is what I the broad machete is going to resemble. As of making this audio recording, I haven't looked over the footage of what my stats are, so you can just look at these and argue me in the comments section if you would have changed your special stats, but I think this would be relatively good for what I'm trying to do. And so with that, my main goal is to try to get at least most of the small cities, particularly Good Springs and Novak, as idolized during this playthrough. Be hey, uh, future Nomad here. So, uh, there was a joke that I had in the original audio recording, but, uh, I couldn't find the clip for the joke, so I tried to craftily cut it out. But, uh, I didn't get Good Springs idolized either, so I just settled on the settlements being liked and whatnot. The okay, uh, bye now. Back, back to the video. I finally make my way to Novak and immediately start the quest line. Then I get jump scared by this random guy I just found. Hello there. Anyways, uh, let's just say I use the voice to uh, uh, take care of those ghouls. Then I uh, got jump scared twice by uh, two different people. That was unfortunate. Fancy meeting you here, friend. You've done a good turn for the NCR. Anyways, hey. bought a fake passport and then went inside the Lucky 38. As I mentioned earlier, I'm doing Yes Man's ending, so it's probably not hard to understand why I'm here. Yeah, I was just getting a head start. Then I got the platinum chip, and took it to Yes Man, and told him to meet me at the Lucky 38. As I was making my way to the Lucky 38, I proceeded to get jump scared by this person who I don't know the name of. The eyes of the mighty Kaisar are upon you. Then, after Yes Man inserted himself into Mr. House's computer, I went ahead and started doing all of the quests of, for the tribes that I should get to know. Oh yeah, and of course the demonstration part, but nobody really cares for that. At least I didn't. I handled the Emeritus with ease, then proceeded to get idolized by the boomers. As for the great cons, well, I personally don't like them, so... I then took care of the Brotherhood and finally upgraded all the Securitrons at the fort. Protected Kimball. Then killed Legate Linus. An envoy of Vegas. Silence! Did you carry? And just told General Oliver to leave. Fine. Come on, men. We're moving out. So, yeah, you can't be following New Vegas' apologies. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go to bed now. See you, Spartans. And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again, and the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. The courier, with the aid of Yes Man, drove both the Legion and the NCR from Hoover Dam, securing New Vegas' independence from both factions. 
With Mr. House out of the picture, part of the Securitron army was diverted to the Strip to keep order. Any chaos on the streets was ended. Quickly. Chaos became uncertainty, then acceptance with minimal loss of life. New Vegas assumed its position as an independent power in the Mojave. Supporting the ideals of independence, the courier was recognized as the man responsible for a truly free New Vegas. He ensured Mr. House's tyranny was broken, and neither Caesar's Legion nor NCR would ever gain control over New Vegas. Though the wasteland became anarchic after Hoover Dam, the boomer's display of power dissuaded fortune seekers from attempting to penetrate Nellis. Buried beneath tons of rubble, the Mojave chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel was no more. Those few who were outside the Hidden Valley bunker when it was destroyed settled into new lives, or headed west to find a new chapter to join. After the courier ensured New Vegas remained free, the followers found that independent Vegas was even more unstable and violent than before. Old Mormon Fort became excessively burdened by the influx of patients, struggling to provide even the most basic of services. With New Vegas' independence formally declared, Good Springs thrived. More travelers stopped by Good Springs on their way to and from the Strip, and the locals grew prosperous from the traffic. After generations of being beaten down, the Great Khans were finally broken by the Courier. Those few who avoided the Courier's wrath moved north into the wilderness of Idaho, where they tried once more to rebuild. The Kings retained their control of Freeside, and while they continued to favor the needs of locals, they tolerated the citizens of the defeated NCR. The NCR, battered by the loss of the dam, were unable to devote any troops to retaking the correctional facility from the Powder Gangers. As a result, Powder Ganger raids on caravans became an unfortunate fact of life in the Mojave for years to come. Armed with a wide array of improvised explosives and stolen weapons, the Vault 19 Powder Gang tormented the Mojave Wasteland for years. Citizens of the NCR were favorite targets, and they always suffered the worst fates. And so the Courier's Road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes. <laughs>